Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, just making a video here. I've been doing some cleaning in the camper. Um, I've been taking a little bit of a break from processing DVDs and shit. I'm just sick of it. I'm get they're gonna be all gone this week because I've just had enough. Um, but as I was going through things, it's mostly paperwork that makes a mess in here, and then it just gets out of control. I found this envelope that I had written some stuff down on, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to be running it through the shredder in a few minutes after this video is done being recorded. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about it and um, read it to you before doing so. I'm doing this as a way to help me let go. Um, I'm a bit of a sentimental fool so once I have things I oftentimes have a really hard time letting go and um, That doesn't go so much for stuff that I get to sell. It goes with stuff that I've had for a while, as well as people. Um, so when I got together with my last girlfriend, I had wanted to date her for a very, very long time. Five years I had wanted to date her. And it had been six since I had been in a relationship. Well, um, I'm going to try to give the short version of this because I made a TikTok video about the same thing here. And uh, it was almost 10 minutes long. So I want to make the YouTube version a little shorter. When. When I had realized, when we had discussed and, like, decided, oh, shit, we're a couple, um, we were in one of the parking lots at Hampton Beach, which anybody that knows Hampton Beach and Hampton, New Hampshire, they've got a long boardwalk along the beach itself. They've got the main road, which I think is, ooh. Excuse me, I think it's U.S. Route 1, and um, there's a parking lot along the boardwalk for part of it, and then there's another parking lot, like, in the middle of Route 1, because it splits into two lanes going each direction. Well, it was January, I think it was a Monday, I went to work. And at the end of the day, I went to her apartment to pick her up. She was only about six or seven miles from where I worked at the time. Um, I think we got something to eat. And then we went down to Hampton Beach. And we had a conversation. And um, then we made out. And we also, like that, you know, also discussed are we a couple or not and then we also went walking on the beach towards the water under the moon and um, a while a little while after we broke up I wrote this down because at the time I was mulling over ideas of you know do I write a song do I just write poems I don't know like trying to figure out how to cope with this loss And what I've got written down here, I'm going to read it now, then I'm going to shred it, and we're going to move on with life. It's been over two years now, I think it'll be three in, it'll be three in February, I believe, if not four, no, it'll be three in February says, <clears throat> as I travel, oh, 
excuse me. Ugh. As I travel on down the walk, glance again to the ocean, minus the talk. Our footprints lost in the sands of time. Our first kiss is on my mind. How can a mistake feel so wonderful? That was a question I had for a long time. And now... I think I just have to decide that I don't give a shit. Because I'm never going to get the answers that I could really use from her. She won't talk to me anymore. I'm not going to try reaching out because at this point it would be harassment. I did try after the breakup then she started talking to me again for a little bit and then she flaked away and then eventually she cut me off on everything and that was it so I'm not gonna push for it you know it's been over two years since we've talked at all and as much as it hurts, I just need to let go. So, this is going in the shredder, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments if you have them, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.